I wouldn't tell people when, you know, if it was their day yet. <laughs> really? So they kind of get to the booth and then do you tell them when they're in the booth or is it, do they get to that part of the scene and go, oh no, yeah, I can't that. <laughs> Really? I enjoy that sometimes. <laughs> hey, I'm Elise Bowman, and this is Anime Adventures, and I am with Kyle Colby Jones. Hello. We are at Anime oh. Dallas, and he is director extraordinaire, ADR director. Yes. Thank you. Uh, with Sentai Filmworks, but you've got to explain because there there are all these changes. So tell us. So yes, I uh, work at Sentai, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of it streams on High Dive, and it's all a part of AMC Networks. Yes, so you're officially AMC Networks. It's a lot of it's a, a lot, lot of, of balls in the air. Yes, a lot <laughs> of juggling there with the corporations and the companies and the things. So here's what I thought we would do. I want to first do a quick list of some of the shows that we have posters for and then talk about what it means to be a director and I have some directory type questions and then we can maybe take a deeper dive into some of these. Sure, so, sure. All right. Speed round. Akame Ga Kill. It was on Toonami. That's Umaru-chan. That is No Game No Life. An old classic Kino's Journey. Food Wars. And Vinland Saga. Oh, I'll let you grab. Let's oh, see. Right. Yeah, go for yep. it. Boom. And that is a high cue, of course. And yes. And Made in Abyss. Okay, so all of these fantastic shows that will come back, and I have questions about a couple of them, but um, I know that you probably get the question a lot from people who want to do voice acting, or maybe they've already started as a voice actor, and they probably say, how do I get into voice acting? Right. Or how do I further my voice acting career and do anime? All and right. you well, say. Yeah, well, yeah, I get a lot being a director. Yeah. Um, and uh, the, I think the, the best answer I have is, you don't just go into voice acting, right? You uh, go and become an actor yeah. or just get on the set somewhere. Like become part of a, like a 48 hour film fest or something. Yeah. Get out there and just done those. be out there, right? And then you might find out that, oh, oh, I'm holding the boom mic one day and then the next day you're dead soldier four on the ground. <laughs> and then maybe you'll get a speaking role and, or you might find out that, you know what? I really like running the sound. I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. And just get out there, get in there because this is way too specific to just want to do this. Well, and I had that approach too, because it's really cool to learn all parts of the business. Because I did, I yeah. held the boom mic. Yeah. I've worked for a casting director. I've uh, seen the agency side. Speaking of agency side, weren't you? Aren't you from the ad agency yeah. world? I came in from the ad advertising world, and yeah. it was uh, make, doing radio and TV spots. Has a uh, you get to write them yourself and yeah. then uh, you hold auditions and cast and you have a sound engineer next to you and an actor in the booth every day and it's a very similar skill set so yeah. it's an easy transition but it was a a phone call out of the blue I, I didn't oh, really I didn't go hmm I want to take this in the anime I didn't <laughs> even know anime was being made in uh, Houston Texas at the time my I had a boss that said um, Kyle, I'm gonna give you a phone number and I'm afraid I may never see you again oh, no. so I've never seen her again Oh, really? And so, yeah, it was uh, Stephen Foster at uh -huh. uh, ADV Films, and um, they were exploding. They had just bought a zillion titles, and uh, the place was a total dump. I'll be, uh, I'll be honest about that. But it was in transition. Uh -huh. I almost didn't take the job because, oh, my gosh. Because it was a dump? Yeah, this place You were like, what's terrifying. going on? <laughs> but, no, they were redoing it all, and then we ended up with, like, seven, eight functioning studios plus mixed studios, and it was a massive operation there for a while. Oh, that's amazing. Then the bottom fell out. Like everyone remembers that, at least uh, in my age group. Oh yeah. And then it rebounded and came back. Nice. So, do you are you glad you made that switch, and have you just never looked back? Um. Well, uh, I am glad I made the switch, and I now I've made it twice. Um, because when the bottom fell out, went back into advertising oh, world. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. And it was quite the reminder that I liked uh, cartoons like more than selling toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Are you interested in voice acting? Are you a professional actor or just interested in getting started in the industry? You're in luck. At least Bowman is now teaching four separate classes. And she has private and group classes that she teaches. Stuff that I learned with her has been the business of voice acting. I learned the physicality 
the confidence and just how to improvise and how to become a new character. Just taking the character off of a page and bringing it to life. And if you guys are serious about doing voiceover, it's super easy. Go to leastcoaches.com, get signed up, and uh, we'll see you there. So when you're directing a session, tell us some things that you do as a director and how you like to run your sessions and just a little about the process for somebody who may not be familiar about your work as a director for anime. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of the actors have said they they walk in blind most mm -hmm. of the time. They don't know what they're doing. Okay, you're today you're going to be a robot dog that you know, shoots firecrackers. And then the next day you're having female problems at middle school. Yeah. So they never know what, what they're really getting unless we've gone through a, a arduous audition process. Okay. Um, but uh, so they're coming in blind. So uh, first thing you got to do is uh, prep them, get uh, get them aware of mm -hmm. what's happening. And they, a lot of times they don't know the story. So get them all uh, ready. So then um, sound engineer, we get them mic'd up, get them in the right place. Yeah. And then uh, it's what I like to do is we'll go through the whole episode uh, quickly, just like a blind read, fast. Um, let's see what this ep's all about, or a scene if it's meaty. Yeah. And then we go back and fine tune it. How interesting. Um, so we all okay. know we're all on the same page, me and sound engineer and the actor. And, the, and everybody gets the gist of the scene yeah. or of the whole episode. Like, oh, I got to start okay. off small and finish big, or I'm about to find out my brother's dead, or whatever. They'll, that way they know. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I don't tell them little secrets, but yeah. Oh, interesting. To yeah. keep it. Yeah, but a comedy fresh. got killed. People were there's a lot of uh, a lot of characters don't make it to the end. Sorry, spoiler yeah. alert. And so the I wouldn't tell people when you know if it was their day yet. <laughs> really? So they kind of get to the booth and then do you tell them when they're in the booth or is it do they get to that part of the scene and go, oh no? Yeah, I that. <laughs> really? I enjoy that sometimes. <laughs> But some of them are avid uh, anime fans already, and they and they know, know what's aware. gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, and that's always sad as an actor because you want your character to no, no. like last forever and ever and ever. <laughs> um, now, you have a good story with this, oh, right? Uh, Umaru Chan. Uh -huh. If you haven't seen it, it it's um, this girl right here. She is uh, also this girl. So when she gets home, she's like perfect, great student, straight A's head of everything right um and then she gets home and s turns instantly into that and she's a slob eats nothing but potato chips and junk food cola and is always just not very nice to her brother here and uh emily neves um plays this character and excuse me not only is she these two but there's also a couple other iterations of her and emily neves was amazing to watch do this because she could turn into the little one and back and forth all on the fly a bunch of the stuff in there really? is single takes instead of us doing okay we're gonna do all the little ones and then we'll do all the big ones she's like nah let's go oh and she can just yeah because yeah. sometimes if you do different voices you record all one character's yeah. voice and then another so she can just yeah she was flip -flop. bouncing around all over the place oh and i love emily i've interviewed her as well cool yeah she, that's really cool i also love doing little weird side things uh -huh. um for shows um like used what? to be dvd extras Oh, yeah. The added value thing. Yeah. Um, but now they really don't need that. So now things go on social media and uh, YouTube and whatnot. And so we'll do some weird stuff. And we did a couple with her. She did a, an ode to the potato chip. Oh, she did? And uh, there's a cola pop song. So check out your, she YouTube. Sang? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We wrote them and uh, put oh, them all you together. Did? Yeah. Okay. Just being silly. And it's on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have to find that. I want to see that. Yeah, it's good, good fun. Are you interested in voice acting or just if you're a voice actor, do you want to further your career? My name is John, and I've taken classes from Elise Bowman, and her classes are amazing. Uh, she can teach you anything from the ins and outs of the business, how to create a character from just looking at a picture, and also just the voice acting 101 to set up a microphone and, and set up a studio. All this has helped me and I know it can help you. If you want to learn more about this, go to elisecoaches.com for more. That's awesome. Do you have any other, because you've recorded, I mean, you're still I've doing... been doing this for a long time. I've got yeah. a million freaking shows. <laughs> and this is, oops. Oops, yeah. Oh, I hit the microphone. Uh, Haikyuu here, very, very popular show right now. Yeah, it is. It, it's deep into several seasons, 
and uh, there's two movies coming out uh, to continue the um, uh, tournament they're currently in. And it's great. It's been a blast. The cast is enormous. It keeps growing. Every time, you know, a lot of shows, you add a new character, uh, an episode, and you're like, okay, I'll cast that. Here we're adding a new team <laughs> over and over again. So, okay, now I need eight more guys. Yeah. yeah so, a very dude heavy show. Um, but everyone's so fun in here. It's really um, a, quite a gem. It's a, there's a reason it's so, it got so big because the Japanese original content is just, clever and funny and they act like kids and so just keeping it in that tone and that's one thing you were saying about the uh uh how my sessions work yeah yeah in general is if we're not having fun then it's not gonna permeate forward into the oh, that's into the point. show so i keep it loose i keep it light everyone's names on it i tell them so if you don't like what you did let me know we're gonna be We'll work this out together. Oh, good. Oh, that's a nice environment to have. Yeah, yeah I know. I've been with too many whip crackers and <laughs> just not, you know, I don't want any of that. So uh, when you're like, let's say you're getting auditions in and mm -hmm. you have, you're trying to cast eight new roles for yeah. this. What is it that makes an audition stand out when you get, because I know sometimes you get inundated with hundreds of auditions mm -hmm. from agencies or unrepresented talent. So what makes something stand out to you? Um, that c could be anything, but one uh, I think is just a feeling, a feeling of ease. Someone who just kind of oh, uh -huh. walks in. I mean, nervous energy is one thing, and it can be used for certain certain roles. But um, it's that that person where it just kind of oozes out of them. You'll kind of know it when you hear it. It's like, okay, that's pretty good. I could see that happening. Probably that's not bad. And then all of a sudden, just whoop, ah, there it is. Uh. There's the guy, and it can adjust your whole. Uh, show if that one person Interesting. Uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm probably gonna cast this guy here and then you go oh crap he got beat out by this then I'll move this guy down here but that means I gotta put this guy over here and so shuffle the whole thing up until it feels right so it's not always one thing it's just um, that you can explain it's just when you hear it you know it yeah. that's what it that's yeah, what I'm hearing it's uh, but, right I mean now yeah. that's sounds a little you know obtuse and weird but um you know, some of it's more specific we are looking for narrow and sound yeah. yeah okay very cool well this is so much fun I, I love talking to a director i mean of course i love talking to actors too they're okay but you're like i have to work with them all all the time they're okay i'll take them <laughs> no they're, it's they help it's me fun. do my job <laughs> it, it it's part of the fun part of, fun fun part of the job is to just see these guys do their thing yeah you know because they're talented folks and uh, coming up with new ideas with them or they go, ooh, 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 let me try something. And then, you know, it's everyone's got their, you know, the, the actors that have that, put me in, put the spotlight on me. Um, <laughs> they're ready to go at all times. So it, it's a fun, fun place to be. It is. That's it. Well, and you, you can tell, like I've seen him a lot recently and I can tell you like what you do. So yes, thank I you do. for being here. Thank you for talking thank about you for what me. you it's, uh, do. It's great. It's finally my turn. I know. All my friends should. tell me that they've been on here. <laughs> Peer pressure. Everybody's on Anime Adventures. It was your turn. And thank you for being here. And hey, subscribe. There's an idea too. Subscribe and click the bell. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.